Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 12th of April. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, please see the link below. You can see my testimonials. Or if you would like to venture beyond your zodiac sign and embrace more serious astrology, you can do so in a very affordable way by checking out my personal horoscope reports and get a 12-month forecast and a character analysis for 30% off. Please see the link beneath the video too. Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 12th of April. There's a new moon on Monday in your sister fire sign of Aries. And this represents the fifth house for you, which is all about life's joys. It's about where we're most passionate about the things that give us a real sense of completion and happiness. So if you have a creative plan that you'd like to really engage with in a much more meaningful way, the next month is going to be a wonderful celestial window of opportunity. And of course, the new moon is where the sun aligns directly with the moon. And the moon in the fifth house is also very joyful. It can be very uplifting in terms of children, in terms of creativity. And the moon, of course, governs where we live. So you may want to do something or start a new hobby or interest with the help of this influence. The fifth house also gov governs a romance and Jupiter, your ruler, is angling up to this new moon in a magnificent way. Jupiter's in your third house of thoughts, belief systems, everyday communications and your natural uh, ability to enthuse people has definitely been turned up to max since Jupiter entered this area on the 20th of December last year. And it is going to continue to do so through to the middle of May and from the start of July through to all but the last three days of this year. So Jupiter is a great angle, a great influence to have on this particular new moon because it just uh, creates a greater sense of enablement, you know, a feeling that things can with your uh, upbeat and progressive approach, things can turn out to your advantage. But that's not the end of the good news because Mars is in your opposite sign, which has been giving you a bit more grit around how you interact with others, which is really good. But that's linking brilliantly with Jupiter too. So the way you explain things can really be very galvanizing for other people. They can just want to be part of your gang. You know, you've got something very meaningful to say. And if there is somebody that you're attracted to in a more romantic context, I think your kind of larger than life way of being at the moment is going to be very alluring. It is true that Pluto, the planet of change, is clashing with this new moon. And it's just saying to you that when it comes to gambling your resources or trying too hard to impress someone that you may be drawn to, I really would try to avoid that, particularly on Monday and Tuesday when Mars continues to clash with the dreamy and rather uh, uh, rather dissolving influence of Neptune, dissolving of clarity, dissolving of energy. However, on Wednesday, Venus, the planet of relating, moves out of the fifth house, which is very, very alluring and playful, and into a more practical area. Now, that practical part of your situation is going to be amplified, particularly from the 19th of this month. You already have Uranus there, and it's probably been asking you over the last few years to be more flexible around the way you work, or even around routines. But I think there's enough in your chart at the end of this week, with the North Node's fabulous link to Saturn, suggesting if there is a meaningful person in your life, and you feel sincere about them, they will know that what you say is really what you mean. And this could lead to a, a, a solidifying of the bond between you. And then in a more playful context, Mercury is sparkling beautifully with your ruler, 
from Friday through to the end of the weekend. And that could see some kind of upbeat exchange, some humour. You may watch a great film. Uh, you may share something on a blog. Uh, it's just very entertaining. Mercury uh, in this wonderful angle to Jupiter can see you use that enthusiasm to such a wonderful effect. So I think this is a week generally when you're given a real spotlight to express what makes you so very special, so very unique, and also so very much fun to be with.